It's no secret Honda doesn't follow anybody when it comes to technology. Whether it's in their cars, motorcycles, or their ATVs, Honda's always trying to find a way to improve their vehicles without falling into a cookie cutter template set by the rest of an industry. So Honda's philosophy with technology and uh, our ATV and across our power sports line is uh, we, we definitely strive to improve in all areas. We, we don't like to settle with what we have and uh, we want to push the boundaries of technology. You know, we're one of the technological leaders in the industry and, you know, we, we always strive to improve our performance in, in areas, especially when you consider transmission technology. Honda is the last ATV manufacturer to resist the move to a CVT-style transmission in their ATVs in favor of an electronically shifted manual setup that includes automatic shift programming. So automatic DCT, it's a, it's a very unique system. Uh, for those in the automotive world, you've probably heard of it. Um, it's nothing new in that aspect, but for the power sports industry, it was introduced on, on our motorcycle lineup with the VFR 1200 in 2010, and it slowly moved to the power sports line in the ATV side. A dual clutch transmission means that there's two gears always engaged at the same time but operated on different clutch packs. So it's a seamless trans transition from one gear to the next. So for when you're going from first gear to second gear, second gear is already engaged. It's just shifting from one clutch to the second clutch. Um, we've innovated that into giving the option of a drive and an electronic shift mode. So you can put it in drive mode and allow the unit to shift itself based on the computer logic of a throttle position and engine RPM, or move it over to the electronic shift mode and you can actually hold each gear and, and be able to shift it like you would our previous electric shift model, very similar with a button style shifter on the left handlebar. And on top of that, the DCT comes with a, a high-low sub-transmission. So not only are you getting five gears in high, five gears in low. So we look at it as, a, as basically a 10-speed transmission, which we're very proud of. Sounds simple, right? But the question that begs to be answered is why? And the answer to that question may be a lot simpler than you originally thought. Um, we have a very diverse regional aspect of many customers' lifestyles that require a manual transmission, and that's what they prefer. If they have a towing application or some kind of specific need where they need to hold one specific gear, um, that really gives them a huge benefit um, to using that. And it gives the customer you know, a lot of options when it comes to towing, hauling, climbing, and uh, any of those applications where you would really need some kind of a variant of a gear set from high to low. It's one of the, one of the ideas where we listen to the customer. Um, we've maintained that, we wanna give that customer what they need for the, the direct region that they live in and for the specific needs that they use it for. Of course, the next question on most people's minds is what are the drawbacks? There are customers that, that feel that electronics on their ATVs can, you know, can be of concern to them in their application. Um, but again, one of the things at, at Honda, you know, with this automatic DCT transmission, it's gone through our rigorous testing standards. Um, we're very proud of our durability and our quality standards. So these units were, were tested and developed in America. You know, we have a full research and development facility um, located in Ohio, as well as our manufacturing plant in South Carolina. And that, it gives us a unique aspect of being able to design, test, develop, and manufacture all within the confines of the areas where we sell our units. Um, we're very proud of our testing procedures, and it's one reason why Honda has the durability and quality standards that uh, you know, we feel kind of rise above. So looking forward at automatic DCT technology, we're definitely gonna continue to evolve this system. It really comes down to efficiency. This, this technology you know, increases the efficiency of the engine um, drive line and getting the power to the wheels, yeah, that's what it's meant to do. It's meant to be you know, very efficient, very connected, and give the rider that you know, connection to the, the power van that, that they really want. If you enjoyed this video, post a comment and let us know what you think. Then click this link to subscribe and that link for more great videos from Dirt Tracks TV.